Let's talk about the shapes of different molecules. Let's start with a simple symmetric molecule. So let's try methane, CH4. Got my carbon atom and four single bonded hydrogens. Now this is a nice symmetric molecule. Any way you look at it, it basically looks the same, any way you rotate it. And what you'll notice is these hydrogens have all spaced themselves out, so they are all as far apart from each other as they possibly can be in three dimensions. This is called a tetrahedral structure, and that's the way that molecules like this will go. But if you compare that to a water molecule, you'll notice something a bit odd. Water has this kind of bent structure. So the hydrogens have not separated themselves as far apart as they can be, which would just put this in a line. No, instead, the hydrogens are more on one side than the other. Why is that? Well, the reason is, again, electrons. So with these hydrogens here, we have eight electrons in the outer shell. And they kind of form up into pairs. So we've got one pair here, one pair here, and there's another pair of electrons here and here that just came from the oxygen itself. And those pairs of electrons do a similar thing to these other uh, hydrogen atoms in the case of methane. They effectively push the other protons away. That's why water has this bent shape. And that's important because oxygen is a little bit more attractive of electrons than these hydrogen atoms. So what ends up happening is the oxygen ends up being a little bit negative and these hydrogens end up being a little bit positive. And the result of that is what's called a polar molecule, a molecule that has a more negative side over here and a more positive side. And that results in bonding between molecules. If you had two water molecules like this, because of their shape and because of the fact that this side is more negative, they would wanna line up more like this because you have the negative uh, of this oxygen attracted to the positive of the hydrogens and vice versa. In the case of methane, because it's so symmetric, there is no negative side and no positive side. So if you have you know, multiple methane molecules, they don't really feel much attraction towards each other. And so if you have two molecules like this, they're less likely to interact, to attract or repel. In the case of water molecules, they are more likely to attract in this particular way. And that is what results in different properties of these two different molecules. Methane will be a gas at room temperature because there's not much attraction between the molecules. They don't really want to stick together. But water is a liquid at room temperature because these molecules are fairly strongly attracted to each other through this so-called hydrogen bonding. So the shapes of molecules plays an important role in how those molecules behave.